Oh my god, it's been so long. It has been so long since I felt so good about a win. Since I felt so good about this team. Rangers win, baby. 5-1 to one over the Vegas Golden Knights. Finally, a win worth celebrating over. The Rangers go into Vegas and they absolutely dominate them. Didn't even give them a chance. There was a few minutes of the game where it looked like maybe Vegas was going to creep back in because of a couple dumb penalties. But at the end of the day, the Rangers played nearly a perfect game for this one. And this is their best effort in a very long time. And it's hard to not be happy about this one. It's hard to nitpick things with this one, considering how good they were for the majority of the play here. But... We got a lot to talk about with this one. We have a lot. This was a great one. Before we jump into it, leave a like on the video if you do enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially for Ranger fans. And turn on your notifications so you know when I upload a video next. We got a lot here. This was an absolute statement by the Rangers, though. I mean, seriously. When was the last time they played quality defense like this? Because holy, was it a dominant effort on both sides of the puck world class world class i don't understand why it took this long but if they're here now to play i'll be the last to complain now listen i'm not going to over celebrate because they had that effort against philly that i thought was impressive before i think i'm forgetting an effort here and there where i thought oh they actually looked pretty good for the full 60 or the majority of it but it never ended up being the turning point. This is a game, though, where I feel like this could be the turning point. I wasn't convinced against St. Louis. Wasn't convinced against Ottawa, that's for sure. And I was right to not be convinced. There's been a lot of wins where it's not convincing. This is. Let's talk about this, though. Because the Rangers... I'm not going to act like they started this game off perfectly there were a few turnovers that i didn't like the first two minutes in vegas only got one quality scoring opportunity uh, opportunity for that i think it was from riley smith outside of that the rangers kind of limited vegas early in the game despite the turnovers which was a sign that was good to see because hey we got igor on his game we got some good defensive plays early on let's go we're ready to we're ready to roll and the rangers took a one to nothing lead very early in this game uh and this was nice because it took the rangers a bit to get their first good shift of the game in the offensive zone and it, their first good shift came from that first line that new first line with lafreniere zibanejad and kako and miller ends up firing one on goal and kako ends up tipping that one in truba with the assist as well good puck movement from him as well on that first line with a great shift like i said there one to nothing game early and the rangers would not stop there Kreider then almost redirected a truba pass fox though had a little bit of a defensive lapse there let riley smith get behind him and then carrier also got a chance there fox with a little bit of a rough shift there thought it was noteworthy because Adam Fox, he didn't have a perfect night. Thought it was noteworthy. Then the Rangers' fourth line with a pretty good shift there. Johnny Brzezinski and Goche getting some chances. Goche driving to the net as he does, creating some opportunities. Second line then, the Rangers just shift after shift. They were getting to work. Hunting the puck, that's something that you notice too. The puck carrier on Vegas didn't have a damn chance tonight. They were forcing turnovers every play. Every single time Vegas had the puck. No chance for them. Then you have Panarin break up a scoring chance in the defensive zone. And the same shift gets a nice little backhanded chance. Ends up getting denied, but... Artemi Panarin with defensive work. Won't be the first time we talk about that tonight, though. Because, wow... Blay then drew a tripping penalty. Rangers go to the power play. And the Rangers power play actually looked pretty good on the first one. Panarin and Trocek got some chances. Then Fox, nice little keep in. I think it went off of his face, if I'm not mistaken. But a good keep in after all. And the Rangers got one more chance in front of the net. Could bury it. But that was a near perfect period right there. That was near perfect right there. And I tweeted, all right, let's see if you can continue it. And everyone in the replies was so negative being like, you think they're going to continue this? There's no way they're going to. And it's like, get ready for the worst period of your life. All of that. That's what everyone was replying. 
and the first four minutes were very slow for this period there was not a lot going on for either side and it was kind of just the rangers playing some shutdown hockey Laffy then almost tipped in a lingered shot. Igor had to make a good stop on Carrier in front after a high block shot. Heedle then stole one and got a chance stolen from Martinez, I think it was. And he got denied in front on that opportunity. I'm sure he was pissed there until he ended up scoring later. Truba then had a bad pinch on one of the plays. A two-on-one comes the other way. Carlson with a shot. That ends up getting saved. And then comes the penalties as... Yeah, uh, Vegas started to put a lot of pressure on, and Trocek ends up tripping Riley Smith on a play, and then Ryan Lindgren ends up cross-checking Mark Stone and a five-on-three, and sure enough, Vegas ends up scoring on said five-on-three. Jonathan Marshall so gets a cross-crease pass from Chandler Stevenson, buries it, won the one game, and Igor had to continue to make a few big stops, but the Rangers did get a bit going there, and Barca decides after taking a idiotic penalty, and Kolzar also took a roughing penalty there as well. Then they end up dropping the mitts after, even though the Rangers had a good offensive zone thing going there. Whatever, he fights, and it is what it is. The fourth line then had a great shift as well there at the end. Sammy Blay with a chance. Nice to see him get some scoring opportunities because still doesn't have a goal as a Ranger. It will come, just a matter of when. But at the end of that second period, they ended up calling a slashing on Theodore. So the Rangers started on the power play, and that power play looked awful. Panera got a shot that went to the glove. That was about it. And then Igor had to make a save on Carlson, who almost deflected one in. It was a big stop there. But the Rangers, then it was all them. Heedle drew a penalty there on Theodore. And the Rangers score on the power play. Meek is a bad job with a 1T blast off a feed from Adam Fox. 2-1 to one game. Not too long after that, Panarin makes a beautiful play in the neutral zone. And he feeds that one up to Barker Goudreau. Phil Heedle then in front. He buries that one off of a Goudreau feed. 3-1. to one. And the Rangers just kept dominating shift after shift, just like in the first period. But this was better because they were not allowing anything in this period. And then the Rangers made it 4-1. to one. Again, beautiful puck movement there. And then Mika gets a chance that's a little loose in front. Couldn't bury it. He regathers it. Sends it over to Laffy. He struggles with it. Regathers it. Snipes it home on the open net. Nice little shift there from Kako, too, who doesn't get the apple, but deserves one. Then you had Truba go off for high sticking, which was a stupid call, considering it was the young guy's stick, uh, the guy in Vegas' stick, but whatever. McNabb then went off for cross-checking, and the Rangers ended up scoring on the power play there as the Rangers end up winning the draw. Panarin over to Mika Zibanejad. Mika Zibanejad hammers it home, 5-1. And the Rangers, it was a five on three. So Mika got another chance as well. And that ended up getting denied. Power play ends, but the Rangers hold on and play a great defensive effort to win this one. Shots in the first period, 15 to five in favor of the Rangers. Shots in the second, 17 to 11 in favor of Vegas. A little bit of a yikes, but not too bad. The sh shots don't show the way that that period went down. And then 11 to four in the third period. Shots in favor of the Rangers. Wow, it's been a while. It has been a while. Shots in the game, 37 to 26 in favor of the Rangers. Face off percentage, 54 to 46 in favor of the Golden Knights. Power play going two for five, much better, much better effort from the power play tonight. They should have scored on another, could have went three for five. Very happy with what I saw from the power play tonight. One for three on the PK. Not too mad there considering it was a five on three, but I don't like the penalties that they took. Block shots, 26 to 13 in favor of the Rangers. Giveaways, 9 for the Rangers, 7 for the Golden Knights. But, wow. But, wow. I don't know how to even start with these lines because I literally have no issue with anyone tonight. I really don't have an issue. That first line needs to stay together, though. Lafreniere, Zabaja, and Kako, unreal together. Unreal real and we've been dying for it for a while i've been beating the drum since last season if you watch my preview from last season that's what i thought the first line was gonna be and that's what i wanted now we're getting it maybe the points start coming for these two i'm just saying just saying 
especially after we're having to see the tweets about Zach Parise having more goals than Laffy and Kako combined. Well, shut up. Well, shut up. And then the second line looked great tonight as well. Barkley Goudreau, I, I didn't like his play. If I'm going to nitpick anything here, I didn't really like Barkley Goudreau's play tonight. Um, I didn't like the penalty that he took. And I thought that he kind of looked... He kind of looked on the lesser end tonight. I didn't like his game tonight out of anyone on that line. But Hedl and Panarin look great tonight. Panarin with an unreal night. Shooting the puck. Look at what happens when you shoot the puck. He didn't score. But look at how many more scoring opportunities came from it. Three apples for him. Made a defensive play that was noticeable. Panarin had an unreal game tonight. Unreal. Kreider, Trocek, and VC. I like that line. I like that line quite a bit. Nice little shutdown line there. Trocek looked pretty good. Kreider looked okay. VC looked kind of invisible, but it is what it is there. It's not like he was awful. It's not like he was great. He was just he was just there. But not too mad with his play. And then the fourth line. Johnny Brzezinski underrayly elevates that fourth line. 67% of the faceoff dot. Had some shots on goal, and he brings speed to that fourth line that they desperately needed because you're seeing Ryan Carpenter out there, and it just doesn't fit with the Julian Gauthier type. Sammy Blay evens a little faster, looking a bit faster as of lately, looking a bit better. So I, I like the fourth line with Johnny Brzezinski there. I do. And that sucks because I want Kravtsov to be in the lineup, but we know Barca Gudra's not going to be uh, the one to sit, which if I'm being honest, I'd sit him or VC if it's anyone right now. I think I'd sit one of those two. You can maybe sit Sammy Blay, even though I complimented him a bit. But like Johnny Brzezinski, I think, deserves to stay in the lineup for a bit. Maybe I'm crazy for that. Let me know if I'm crazy for thinking Johnny Brzezinski should stay in the lineup. I love me some Johnny Broadway right now and the defense looked looked great tonight the forwards contributing defensively too was just something that was huge and the neutral zone play was unreal unreal today how many times did vegas try to go through and they just simply did not allow them through they look great and then the defense like i said the defensive pairs lingered and fox great Miller and Truba. Truba's looked a bit better as of lately. If I'm being honest, Truba's looked a bit better. Miller, solid game. And then Schneider and Hayek. Hayek, I thought, was probably the worst defenseman of the night. Wasn't necessarily awful, but if I had to pick one, sorry, he's the guy. Schneider, though, had a great game. I loved Schneider's game a lot. But wow. They looked so good tonight. I can't stress enough how good they looked tonight. It's been so long that I really am appreciating this. Because who knows if we're going to see this again. But if we do, don't let the Rangers get hot. Don't let the Rangers get hot. Let's get to Twitter though and see what you guys have to say. Nico, my co-host, saying, why did it take on millennials to figure this top line out? I don't know. But, you know, if he he's really listening to Vince Mercogliano, get Vince Mercogliano behind the bench yesterday. Because seriously, he may know a thing or two more than Gallant. So look at how that worked. Granted, I think... I got to give some praise to Gallant, too. For having the team more prepared, having them play a bit more structured defensive hockey, too. I got to credit Gallant a bit. So, as much as we like to bash him, and as poor of a coaching effort as he's had lately, game after game, tonight, he outcoached Bruce Cassidy by a mile. Because Vegas had no answers tonight. They had none. 
Carly says, the kids. The, they were so good tonight. Lafreniere, Heedle, Kako, all pop in a Gino. Noticeable. Kako deserved another point on that Lafreniere goal. They looked so good. Lafreniere deserved the point maybe on the Kako goal. You see what happens when they get opportunities. It's night and day, isn't it? It wasn't complicated. We knew the answer. But for whatever reason, it took a while for coaching to realize. And now that it's here, man, we have to appreciate this. Because this could be fun. Black Dog RVA says, great game by the kids. Keep them with Mika. Really hope to see some Trocheck and Kreider hookups should that line stay together. There is some hope going uh, going up against a badly banged up Avs team. Yeah, that's another thing. You're rolling in the Colorado who's losing. Nathan McKinnon doesn't have, I think, Mika Ranton. It's hurt. Manson, I think, is hurt. They are really banged up over there in Colorado. And this is a perfect game for you to carry some momentum going into Colorado. What, on, uh, on Friday, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. And yeah, they need to keep them together, no question. And yeah, once that, once that third line gets going with Kreider and Trocek, once they get the scoring going, huh. oh, the NHL's got to look out. Dwayne Bacon says, do you think Kravtsov comes back in? No. Nope. Especially after a win like this. No. Sadly not. Fusion says, good game, man, and I love these lines. You and I both. And yeah, great game. Great game. New York Fugazi fan says, in my opinion, Truba has begun to look noticeably better the last few. Why can't they play like this every game except for that stretch in the second? Yeah, I agree. There was a little bit of a... Uh, a whoa moment in the second there but it wasn't too bad to the point where it was gonna cost them the game because they still played good enough igor made the saves that he had to as well and yeah i i i agree with truba he's looked a bit better as of lately i completely agree let's see if he can keep this up though bd3 says i love that kaka and laugh on the top line but why is crafts off still a healthy scratch I, uh, where was he going to play? Uh, well, to you and I, the answer's simple. But to go on, he can't bench any of the guys that he has in the lineup. There was no way he was going to bench Johnny Broadway. He wasn't going to bench Blay. He wasn't going to bench Goudreau. And it was just Kravtsov was the guy. And I don't like it, but it, it's just the way it is. And I don't know. I'd like to see him back in the lineup, and I think it would make it even better than what we saw tonight, but I don't know if we're going to see it now for a bit. Kazoo says it's been a while since the Rangers actually looked like a pretty solid team tonight. Aside from that second period, I know we all want a full 60, but I'll take a solid 40 over 20 any day. I think they played more than 40 minutes tonight. I think they gave you a good, good 50, 55 minute effort. It was really only like five minutes in the second period where it was like, oh boy, but I think they gave you a better effort than you're giving them credit for. I really do. I think a lot of people are kind of undervaluing how good they played even at points in that second period. That's just my opinion. But yeah, I I'm happy with the effort for sure. No doubt. And then the Marv Zone says, hi, Python. Great win tonight. How about that? All the kids scored tonight. What do you... Well, uh, what do you look for as they face the Avs on Friday? How much did Vegas being jet lagged and not having Eichel Petrangelo have to do with uh, their play? Well, when it comes to the first part of your question, when they're rolling into Colorado, you got to capitalize on the fact that they are banged up. You got to capitalize on the fact they're kind of in a bit of a rut. And that's your opportunity to pounce on them. And that's your opportunity to really gain some momentum here, gain some points. And that's what the Rangers need to do. That's what it's all about, baby. The two points right now. So that's what I'm looking for. And then when it comes to the second part, the Rangers travel too. I don't know if you could use that excuse. Yeah, Eichel Petrangelo being out. No doubt that hurts their lineup. No doubt. But at the same time, 
That's what you that's what the circumstances were. Sorry, but nobody feels sorry for you. And a five to one game, I think you could have asked for some better goaltending, maybe. Could have asked for a bit of better defensive play. Petrangelo alone wasn't gonna do it. So I don't know if I wanna say any of that. Because I think the Raiders played so good to the point where it does not matter who Vegas had in the lineup. It did not matter. The Rangers were that good tonight. So I don't think there's any excuse tonight. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Ranger fans. Turn on your notifications so you know when I upload a video next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go Rangers.